Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Campbell Kitchen and today we're gonna make some killer short ribs. So these short ribs are brined and then steamed instead of braised. So you're gonna notice the difference and they are phenomenal. So let's start off by making our brine. So I have some herbs, I have some lemon, some bay leaf, some salt, some honey, and some water. And these short ribs are marbled to perfection. They are like Wagyu, they're killer. So I figured I was gonna make a beautiful video on this and I hope you guys like it. So to start with the brine, the ratio is always gonna be a gallon of water, a cup of salt, and half a cup of sugar or something sweet. So for this, I did a half batch. So I'm gonna do half a gallon of water, and I do a little bit less salt. I did a third cup of salt, and I did a quarter cup of honey. I'm gonna throw in my spices, my herbs, bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm pouring that one gallon in a container, and then I'm gonna add a gallon of ice water squeeze my lemons in there, give it a stir, and that way your brine is ready to go instantly. So I just heated up half the water and I used half ice water for the remaining brine. It's a little trick and it gets your brine ready ASAP because you always wanna use really cold brine. You don't want your brine to be hot, it's gonna get your meat slimy and gross. So these babies are going to sleep for 48 hours in that beautiful brine and it's gonna absorb all those awesome flavors. Two days later, I'm gonna pop them out of brine. So as you can see, they changed color. That's exactly what they're supposed to look like. And I'm going to give them a nice little rinse. I'm gonna pat them dry, and then I'm gonna add some spice. Now you can add any spice, you can leave them plain. I got this really beautiful spice from this purveyor in New York City. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like Le Boat, a piece, but he does some killer spice. So this is um, a natto, uh, paprika, some other crazy spice, some chilies. It's really fragrant and it's really delicious, especially with meat. It's a little bit smoky, it's super good. So after I washed the short ribs, I patted them dry, and then I'm just gonna add the spice. And you can, you can be liberal or you can just be very light with it, very scant, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna let them sit overnight just to absorb that flavor, but you can go right in the steamer. So this is my makeshift steamer. I'm using a pan with a rack, you need a rack, otherwise the bottom will crisp up and become really dry. And remember, you're cooking these very gently. So I use a pan, I cover it with foil on the bottom, and I make a little cocoon. Ideally, there'd be parchment in between the two pieces of foil. That way it's extra airtight. But just do your best, make it as airtight as possible, and then you're gonna be left with a good result. So for these, I'm gonna cook low and slow. As a rule of thumb, I like to go 250 until it's tender. If you go hotter, it's gonna take less time, but it's gonna be a little bit more dry. These are brined, so they're pretty resilient to heat, but you wanna make sure that you're steaming them. You see all that steam that came out? Sorry about that. You could tell that it was airtight, and that's exactly what you want. If you have dry heat, it's gonna get dry, and it's just not gonna be great. I use a fork, make sure that you can just kind of rip away the flesh. You don't want them mushy, but you don't want them too tough. I'm gonna to crisp up one side just a little bit because I like a little bit of texture, and I'm gonna show you how to compose a dish. You can serve this any way you want. You can eat it by itself or with vegetable, you know, whatever. I'm just doing a little simple dish for you. I'm chopping some chives. I have some really nice crispy shallots that I bought from the Asian market that are loaded with umami and that are just really delicious. I'm making this a little topping for the short rib just to provide a little texture. That short rib is really tender, so you want something with a little bit of crunch to it. And there's the short rib, it's crisped up just gently. You don't need to get a hard sear on it. I just like a little color and a little crisp. And we're gonna take that out of the pan and we're gonna slice off that bottom piece, that intracostal meat, that deckel, whatever you wanna call it, the tendon kind of thing. It's really delicious, we're gonna serve that and I'm gonna show you how. Now for the short rib, we're gonna slice it just like a steak. This gives a really elegant presentation and shows off how well you cooked it. So if you overcooked it, it's really just gonna be mushy. And if you undercooked it, it's gonna be like rock hard and just chewy. You wanna make sure that it is right in that sweet spot, which might take a little practice, but I'm sure you can nail it your first attempt. It's not that hard. I'm gonna slice it in thick pieces a little bit on the bias so I can kind of fan it out and it lays nicely on the plate. But first, I'm just gonna throw that sliced short rib and coat it with those shallots and chives. Now let's serve that bottom piece. I'm gonna cut it kinda of in half, but more towards one side. And that's nice meat and it has really good texture. So I'm just gonna slice that on the bias or straight down, doesn't really matter. And then for that other piece, there's a piece of fat right in the center. I'm gonna cut that off. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other piece. I'm just gonna cut it in bite-sized pieces. So I was lucky enough to have some lumpy mashed potatoes for this video. I definitely don't have a ricer at my home yet. I just hand mash them, totally fine. There's plenty of butter, plenty of milk, plenty of white pepper. 
So I put that down, but you can serve it with a side salad or anything that you'd like to eat with red meat, really. Short ribs are very versatile. So I'm gonna put that sliced intracostal meat or whatever you wanna call it down first. I'm gonna roll the bigger slices around in those crispy shallots and chives. And then for the finishing touch, what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of fish sauce. I like Red Boat, I think that's the best one or one of the top ones. It's loaded with umami. It has really, really strong flavor. So just use like one drop per slice of meat. And really that's all there is to it. And I hope you guys get a good example of why you should brine your meat for one and then just steam it i mean or just braise it however you want to do it but just brine your short ribs they turn out so much better i love the steaming the whole steaming thing is awesome because you just have that pure meat flavor and that's all there is to it thanks for watching have a great day hit that like button